Hey everyone who's living with MS, wanted to give you an MS hack. Yeah, that's right, an MS hack. I don't know if you've seen the recent articles uh, a little bit on um, estriol and what it's doing in a study currently right now for the mice that it's been working on. And they're actually seeing that estriol is showing a remyelinating effect. And if anybody who's been read anything about MS, you know that everything that used to treat that's used to treat MS right now is just to slow it down or to uh, try to manage the symptoms but it does not do anything to reverse the effects of MS and this study is showing promise in helping to remyelinate some of the lesions that are on these these brains so um, we got onto this study, we looked at it, uh, obviously it is a ways away from human trials and anything we say in this video is completely non-medical advice. You should always talk to your neurologist and your doctor first before you even try any of this. However, Colleen, my wife, as you know, has MS and she is the host of the Mary Sunshine Show. She's had MS for 30 years. Um, she's not here on this video because she's back teaching, which is fantastic. Um, but one of the things we thought was, is there a way to try out this estriol without having to be part of the study, without having to, you know, be injected with it or anything, however they're going to do it when, it when it comes to human trials. And it turns out that estriol is pretty common in the treatment of, of menopause, and it's common in a cream. And so we thought, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to order an estriol cream and see if it helps you in any way. Because it's not a very high dose of estriol. Um, and you put the cream on twice a day. And that's about it. And you see just how you feel. And Colleen did mention, you know, when she had her two kids, that when she was pregnant, that was actually the time she felt the best having MS. She didn't feel as many symptoms. She was able to go for runs. She was able to do lots of different things. Of course, until she's later in pregnancy, obviously, but um, she was able to do a lot of different things without MS symptoms. And she's now realizing, well, that could have been the higher estrogen when she was pregnant. Estriol is very high at that time. Um, and so she's, she's, all, all on board, thought we better try this, let's do it. We ordered this one. Again, this is not an advertisement for this company. There are other companies that make uh, this cream, uh, but there are others that do it as an engineered form of estriol. That Colleen did try as well, did not work as well. So you need something that has got actual estriol in it. And this is the one that we had, this BioVia Estriol Cream. And again, Colleen just has to put it on a couple different spots, inside thighs, on the chest, that type of thing, uh, and try it for a little bit to see. Uh, because what she's found is it's helped her balance, it's helped her vision, it's helped her uh, exhaustion as she's been back at school teaching. Um, not that it eliminates the MS symptoms. I imagine it's probably because this dose is very, very low but it has helped her. She's really noticed. And, and we thought, okay, well, let's give it a couple more weeks because this could just be, you know, it could just be your excitement over it. It could just be kind of that placebo effect. Um, but she's still feeling better four or five, six weeks into utilizing a cream like this. There are other brands. Again, it's not an advertisement for this brand, but this brand does have actual estriol in it. Uh, it is not an engineered form of estriol, so that is why that's important. There are a couple of other companies that do that. Um, if you're in Canada like we are, you will have to order it internationally because it's not available here, um, but uh, you can get it, no problem. Um, and again, it's not anything you need a prescription for. Like we say, if you want to, you should talk to your neurologist, talk to your doctor about using this, especially if you're not in menopause or premenopause, uh, because obviously this is used for that. Um, and so if you're not in that state of your life, um, you wouldn't be using it for that anyway. You'd be using it for your MS. Just make sure you clear it. We don't want to be the ones uh, to get you in any trouble. Um, so that's our caveat to this. Uh, talk to somebody about it if you uh, if you so desire. That's up to you. Uh, but these are the types of creams that seem to be working, and I'm going to drop it. There it goes. Uh, so apologies for that. 
but it's working for her. Um, it, it seems to be working for her. It's another way to try, another thing to try. Um, and, you know, we wish you the luck uh, with it because obviously we know in this household how uh, frustrating MS can be, especially when it comes down to uh, exhaustion and wearing yourself out in a day. It's hard to be a mom. It's even harder to be a mom with MS. Um, and, uh, and certainly I don't know how it would work for men with MS to use this cream. Um, but, uh, certainly for women, it seems to be helping Colleen. So that's your, uh, little minute on estriol cream and what seems to be working so far. We'll keep you posted.